Hey guys, so that's our month again where I'm gonna be opening another package from Gadget Discovery Club. This is probably about my eighth package I've got from them now. So yeah, eight or nine months in, I'm, I'm still going strong on the subscription. I keep getting a load of people messaging me in the comments saying, why are you a member for them? Why are you still subscribing? The stuff they're sending you has not been all that. Granted, some of it has been pretty rubbish, but I don't do it for what I'm getting. It's purely just for the fun of it. I do it because I love a bit of tech, I like not knowing what I'm going to get. Sometimes it's been good, sometimes not so good, but it's purely just for the fun. I'm not doing it because I'm hoping that one day I'm going to get a PlayStation 5 come through the door or something like that, because it's not going to happen. It's £25 a month. You're probably watching this video because you've searched in YouTube, Gadget Discovery Club, just being curious what sort of stuff you get. As I said, I've been a member from now for months. I've had a load of packages. So if you are curious to see what sort of stuff you get, I'll put a link up here. Click on that, have a little look. That's literally just a playlist of me unboxing different packages from Gadget Discovery Club. So if that's why you're here, go check it out. Or if you stumbled across the video because you like different unboxing, reviews, tech stuff, then make sure you hit the subscribe button below because I do these sort of videos weekly. And I'm going to say it again, as I've said in all the other videos, they've sent me another unbranded package. I keep getting these. It's weird. I had one guy leave a comment to me and he said something stupid, like, you keep looking at what packages other people are getting, buying them, getting them sent to myself, and then unboxing them, claiming that I'm a member. What a load of shit. But the package you get should be coming in one of their branded boxes. But I'm getting a lot of stuff that hasn't been, I don't know why. I weren't sure if it was something to do with a lot of the Rise products they send out, and whether the Rise ones is one of their own brands or something like that, so that goes in the original packaging. And if it wasn't a Rise product, does it come in separate? But then the last video proved that that wasn't the case. But anyway, enough of that, let's open this up. I don't know what to make of this. It's not bad. <laughs> Actually, it looks quite good. So this month's gadget is an electric toothbrush. To be fair, I don't actually mind that. If it's any good, I'm gonna use it because my old electric toothbrush is knackered. The battery just don't hold a charge. So let's see how good it is. Packaging ain't bad. Sonic electric toothbrush. Five professional cleaning modes. Don't know what cleaning modes would be. Especially five. Well, you got fast, slow, medium speed. What else do they do? Anyway, let's have a look. There we go. Yeah, it's packaged well. USB wireless charger. USA toothbrush. Does that mean I can't use it? I thought it might have been an adapter plug for it, but no. It comes with two different heads. Oh, there's all dust coming off of that as I'm flicking it. That's disgusting. Bristles are very soft. Well, that needs cleaning. Have one the same. Yeah, there's loads of dust coming off of it. That's grim. Well, made in China. Looks like it's all in Chinese, the manual. Yep, yeah. <laughs> every, oh no, no, there is some English on it. Oh, English side, Chinese side. So what are the modes then? It said five, five cleaning modes. Right, so the five cleaning modes. Mode one is clean mode. Mode two is white mode. Mode three says massage mode. To massage my teeth. Four is gum care mode. Five is soft mode. Let's have a look. Let's get it out. It's definitely just a cheap toothbrush. It's not gonna be anything special. But if it's all right, I'll use it. 
Might be better than a standard one. It's quite heavy. So it's got a rose gold button there. Oh, it's fully charged. To be fair, the lights look quite good on it. So it shows that I'm in clean mode, whitening mode, massage mode, gum care, and soft. To be fair, it kind of just vibrates. I was hoping that would have span or something, but to be fair, it's just a glorified manual toothbrush. Maybe I won't use it. Let's see how it looks with the heads. So, first mode is clean mode. Sorry if that's really loud on the mic. But yeah, it's clean mode. That's just vibrating quite quick. White, oh, all right, yeah, left to right quite quick. So that's the whitening mode. Massage, it's kind of going on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Gum care is, seems like a very soft vibration. Oh, it kind of changes. And soft is just one setting. Comes with full battery. That ain't bad. I'll give it a go. I'll use it for a bit. How long it'll last? We'll wait and see. So what's the highest setting? I'm guessing clean mode's the highest setting. It actually don't feel bad. White mode don't feel bad either. Massage feels rubbish. Gum care feels very soft. And soft, might as well not turn it on. Not bad, not bad. And then the charger. Is it magnetic? Is it locking? Oh, it's got a bit of a magnet to it. That sits in all right. It's not bad, but it's definitely another product that's not worth 25 quid. But as I said, I don't do it because I want something fancy to come through the post. If something fancy comes through, great. But this is the sort of items to expect. You're never going to get a few hundred pounds bit of tech come through the door when you're paying 25 pound a month. If you know any other subscription service that that's a chance and you know that they genuinely do do it, please let me know. I just thought I put that on my teeth and I didn't clean it after all that crap come out of it. Nice. So yeah, that was this month's package. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think it was a good one or a bad one? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, as always, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Then that way, you'll see me on my next one. That just took 20 minutes to film that. That's a lot of outtakes.